Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be teaching you all about Hilder's Request Raid Setting. Hilder's Request introduced the World Modifiers, and many people have just now gotten a chance to really get some experience working with these. This is a really amazing update, and the game, a really good game, needs to have support for different player bases, different ways to play the game, and Valheim now does. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is specifically the Raid re Rate modifier. There's a lot of other modifiers, I'm not going to get into them. This is what I've been using for this playthrough, it's a no map, max raid, no portals playthrough. But don't worry about the no portals thing or anything else, we're just going to focus on the raid rate. What does it mean to put the raid setting to much more? Well, <laughs> I have found out. Now, to really understand how the raid things work, you first have to understand that there's different raids and they get unlocked based on your progression. So when you first play Valheim and you first start, there's only one raid you can get and it's really basic and just boars and necks will attack you. Nothing else will happen. So the raids get more and more and more intense as you progress. And there's basically two kinds of raids. There's raids that happen when you're close to your base there is another event that you'll probably learn to hate. This event happens when you're away for your, from your base. However, it'll only happen to you in the plains and in the mountains. So you're safe in the Black Forest and in the meadows. But honestly, events happen on this setting every 10 minutes. It, it changes how you play. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Here's what happens. Every 10 minutes in the plains and in the mountains, you'll get the You're Being Hunted event. This is a very special event because it can happen when you're not at your base. And as far as I know, that makes it special. No other event can happen when you're out adventuring in the world. But as I mentioned before, it only happens in the plains and the mountains. So, these events... <clears throat> Having the events occur every 10 minutes totally changes how you make your bases. And you have to make these essential forts where you have layers of defenses so that basically when the raid is happening, you're fine. And as long as you understand that there's certain events, like the ground is shaking event, that if that happens, you have to leave your base. There's certain events that the enemies are so destructive that you can't be in your base because for all of the events, you are the target. Every enemy knows exactly where you are and they're coming towards you if you're in the event zone. So the key to keeping your base safe during these raids and events is to leaving your base, going outside your base, and fighting the enemies in an open area. That way, when the enemies kill you, they don't have a target. They're not going to go on a rampage and destroy all of the stuff in the center of your base. However, if you are just hanging out in your base and you let a bunch of these destructive monsters hang out there, they're eventually going to break their way in. So it's this really fun balance of going outside to fight, but slowly building up your defenses over time to be able to resist the increasingly tough raids. So long story short, the raid rate, when set to much more, gives you a raid every 11 to 12 minutes. That's how often it happened for me. Almost on the dot, every 10, 12 minutes you get a raid. Another really interesting part of Hilder's request is that it actually adds some really challenging raids to the game. <laughs> One of the events is all of the crazy goblins and stuff. And the crazy thing about the Hilder events is they have no biome limitation. So these events will happen in your base, whether it's in the meadows, black forest, swamp, mountain, any base, anywhere, will get the Hilder raids. So a lot of people don't realize this. You're not just getting optional stuff. You're also making the raids much, much more challenging as soon as you turn in Hilder. Because you'll, or as soon as you turn in one of those chests to Hilder, that event can happen. And that's it for this video, everybody. Comment below if there's something you'd like me to make a tutorial about. 
And if you want to support my work and have a better experience with Valheim, then consider checking out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. If you're lucky enough to have a couple other friends who like Valheim as much as you do, then one of the funnest ways to play the game is on a dedicated server. This is because the way you play the game fundamentally changes. In typical multiplayer, you have your Valheim world, and you invite other people, and then they can do stuff in your world, but then there's always all of this weird etiquette and social stuff, and they don't want to steal your stuff, they're hesitant to build, there's less interaction. Whereas when you have a dedicated server, it's more of a community, because everybody knows that this is the server you're playing on. It's not the same as like your personal world that you've been invited to. So it's a different experience. And for me personally, the there's something that happens in my soul when I log on to a server and I see that somebody I don't know built something. It, it just makes me feel awesome. It makes me feel like the world is alive, like I'm playing an MMO or something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!